So thank you. And if you have further ideas around um, that collaborative process for the co-development, um, please don't be shy about talking to us about them um, and the process we're going to go through. Um, it is an open dialogue. We, we've put up a plan, um, but plans can change. We've had an excellent two days of presentations, discussions and exchange of knowledge. And I hope we're all leaving with an increased understanding of the challenge and how we can all individually contribute to us meeting that objective. There are many challenges in front of us, and if we think about phase one, we've got to deliver the planned research, and that's well underway, and I'm very confident that our projects are all going to deliver. Um, but we need, in that delivery, to be involving that knowledge exchange with Marion stakeholders. And I th those of you who are, are in, in that environment will have noticed the increase in engagement. Um, and that's active within the challenge and we will be looking for a higher level of engagement um, at the end of phase one and going into phase two. Another challenge is the, the synthesis across the challenge. The challenge must be greater than the sum of its parts. We've got high value outputs of an interdisciplinary nature, but how do we bring all those together? So um, that's something that we're going to be talking about tomorrow, a reminder to researchers if you've got ideas for topics that go across projects and programs for synthesis across the challenge, please um, put those into pigeonhole so that we've got those for tomorrow morning. The dialogue must continue and we challenged you at the beginning of the conference to talk to somebody, five people that you didn't know each day. The challenge from that then leaving here is to ensure that at least one of those connections you made, you make a commitment to yourself and the challenge to follow up on that connection. Make those linkages contribute um, to, the, to the community of the challenge. Many of you will have spoken with our Mar Marlborough Girls High students that have been here for the last two days. They were invited because they have been doing research projects and activities in the Marlborough Sounds and have had um, a lot of interest in the man marine management, particularly in the Marlborough Sounds. So in terms of this wrap up, I have asked the students, we've been talking about youth and how we're going to involve youth, to from there, that new generation of representatives that will be our researchers in the future, who will be our marine managers, to give us their reflections um, on the conference. So I would invite Ashabon, Hannah, Bailey and Demi to come forward. I've got to try and figure out how to work this. <laughs> so, as we said, um, we're the Marlborough Girls College Marine team. So, I'm Demi, we have Hannah, Siobhan and Bailey. So, we've been working to get better protection in the Marlborough Sounds. We've done this through a Marine Guardian legislation proposal, which um, we're happy to discuss with any of you that are interested after this. Um, it's been a long process, we've been working on it all year. It started off as a NCA assessment, and, but that ended like June. And everything we've done since then has been our own passion for the environment and wanting to improve what we have in the Marlborough Sounds. Um, so we'd just like to thank um, Julie for making us um, able us to be here today to talk to you guys. Um, and we'd like to thank our mentor, Dr. Steve Ehrlich. Some of you may know him. He's been working alongside us throughout this journey and he's been amazing and without him we would not be where we are today. And we'd like to thank Professor Simon Thrush, Professor Comran Pildic and Dr. Emma Newcomb who have given us professional feedback throughout our journey and also Melinda Bentley, our sustainability teacher who has helped us along the way. So I'd like to talk about today the main thing I took out of the conference 
and that was the tipping points in our ecosystems and the relationships between the kinna and the kelp. So as we've been looking at the Marlborough Sounds, I've actually seen the kind of effects this has on the biodiversity within the environment and how we, you guys talked about how marine reserves actually can help improve this and it really sparked with me because that's our passion, that's what we want to do, put in place more marine protection and knowing that your research is backing up what we're trying to do has been extremely rewarding and encouraging that we're on the right track and yeah, so I'll give you to Hannah. <laughs> Okay, so success isn't the work of one, it's the work of many, is a key quote I'll take out of the conference. And it's reassuring to know that there's extensive research being completed and a high focus on a collaborative approach towards ecosystem-based management. It's also nice to be able to identify that measures are being put in place that will hopefully benefit us as upcoming generations and aid us with tools as we start to think about our future careers and where we'll go in the future. Um, I hope the challenge continues to identify the power of youth and offering opportunities like the wonderful opportunity we've been given to attend this conference and I wish you all the best. Um, hello. <laughs> Something that uh, really inspired me was seeing the connectivity between Māori and Pākehā um, and the involvement with local iwi and hapu um, within the, uh, many of the projects that we've seen over the past couple of days. Uh, this is something we have unfortunately struggled with this year um, during our approach to marine protection. However, coming away from this experience, um, I'm quite ex inspired to um, get more Māori perspectives um, for our work in years to come, uh, especially because this allows for wider perspectives, uh, which has proven quite successful in pro problem solving um, and working with the Māori economy. Uh, so yeah, we look forward to seeing your project and Kaitiakitanga grow in the future. Bring that one down. <laughs> Um, so I just like to say that we are um, that we really appreciated the, um, all the support and warm welcome from everyone. Um, as a group of young students that got invited to come to this, it's been an amazing experience. Um, I must admit that we were a little bit nervous at first and intimidated by such inspiring um, experts, but um, it's been a real privilege to be surrounded by such um, like-minded people with a passion for our oceans and environments. And uh, we are really encouraged to um, continue to follow these avenues and fuel our passions also. Um, I was quite amazed by the depth of um, the analysis of our marine ecosystems and from sea to land and everything that was involved in all the incredible research that everyone has done. Um, especially, I think it's really important to make people aware um, of what's happening in our oceans, especially when it's can be a lot of the time out of sight, out of mind. So um, I really hope we can continue to um, lessen the gaps between everything, especially with our um, Māori as well, because, and so we can work together instead of alongside each other, so that would definitely be awesome. Um, so from these projects, we sincerely hope to see um, some change and really look forward to seeing where the results lead next. And um, it's definitely something that we as a group want to keep updated on so yeah now I'm here thank you very much <laughs>